Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Well, we're going to be talking about a new set of light shaping tools which Godox has introduced and added into their battery of light shaping tools. As they say, photography is about light. Well, it is not just about light, it's about how you use that light, the direction of the light, the color of the light and the quality of the light. And light shaping tools play a major role in doing all that, giving you the kind of direction, the texture, the color, and of course, the quality. Well, I'm sure you all have used various different types of light shaping tools, the soft boxes, the octagonal soft boxes, the parabolic soft boxes, and the mega umbrellas and everything, and Godox has them all for you. Now, this one is a new launch with a small difference. It's basically the differences in its uh, construction and the material that are used in there and uh, the kind of changes that it brings about in the quality of the light. As you can see here, well, it's available in 65 centimeters at 85 centimeters and in 120 centimeters i don't have it here but you also have a 120 centimeters which is like really big and it is also available in two different types of inner lining a silver one and a white one so let me show you the silver first okay this is the silver now this one is the s65t and the t denotes the fact that it has a silver uh, reflective, highly reflective inner lining. Now let's talk about the improvement that they have brought about in this circular diffuser. Like I said, you may have used different types of uh, light shaping tools, the rectangular, the square, the parabolic soft boxes, the hexagonal and the octagonal soft boxes. This is circular. Now you should also notice the shallower depth of the box itself and also the introduction of a deflector right in the middle. And of course, it is also built much better with much more improved materials here. It's available in Bowen's mount and also with the help of a speed ring, you can use it with Godox, Profoto and Brown Color. Now, let me show you the one which I personally like, S65W. The W denotes snow white matte inner linings of course rest everything is same the uh, depth diameter and the deflector everything is same same construction quality same adaptability so what am i going to do now i am going to kind of uh, mount this with a set of studio lights that we use at pixel village and i'm going to actually show you what is the difference but before i um, demonstrate it for you let me also show you the diffuser that it comes along with it well it has two layers of diffusion the inner diffusion the technical term is baffle well it comes with a very interesting material which has a texture on it now this particular texture according to Godox will allow that light to kind of get a much even uh, distribution and diffusion. You should also take a look at the double diffusion material right at the center of the baffle. Well, obviously it's a no brainer. It will allow less hot spots. In fact, rather it will allow even distribution of light throughout your frame. And of course you have the second layer of distribution which will cover the entire diameter of the soft box so an improved inner lining you have a deflector you have a baffle and you have a diffuser together will help you create a very interesting lighting for you an improved way of lighting your subjects and now what i'm going to do is that i have uh, assembled the s85 the 85 centimeter circular soft box both in t and in w in the studio using our studio lights and i'm going to demonstrate it to you for your understanding 
as to how the new light shaping tool, the improved light shaping tool is going to help you in creating the images the way you want it. Let's get into the demonstration. This is the S85T with uh, the silver inner lining and the S85W with a silky white inner lining. What I'm going to do is to switch on the flash and you start seeing the modeling lamp now and you see the way the reflector is behaving a dark area which is not as reflective as the edges. Now this is typical of any uh, you know reflector with silver interior and if your uh, source is kind of sticking out at the right at the base of the uh, let's say the softbox this is how the reflectance will happen which means even if you have one more layer or the second layer of diffusion the light will escape from the edges and will give you harder light. Well, that's when this guy, which is introduced in this new improved version, uh, is uh, going to come into play. This is not an innovation, right? I mean, this is something, the deflector is something that uh, cinematographers, photographers all been using in lighting. So let me take, show it to you how it works. Now you can suddenly see the light is now getting spread much better. The light hits this guy first and it gets deflected and get reflected. Suddenly reducing the hardness by creating an even uh, reflection. Now, if you look at the deflector, it is uh, less shinier than uh, this uh, inner lining and it's got a matte surface. So that further improves to kind of disperse the light and reduce the, uh, let's say, the hardness uh, of the light. Now, let's look at this guy. Let me switch the flash on and instantly you see an even spread. The hardness is missing from here. So if this is the effect that you want to create in your image, obviously this is the softbox that you should uh, go for. Let me add the deflector and it will further improve the quality of the light shaping tool. Very, very evident. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other. It's about what effect that you want in your final image. Now, two layers of diffusion. Well, this is the outer and this is the inner. Like I told you, the inner diffusion is called the baffle and uh, the baffle is uh, made of a special material. Well, Godox claims that this is the kind of material which Hollywood uses for their diffusion. Well, you can see a special design, a kind of a pattern they kind of claim that which will allow much softer, much more even distribution of light. And then of course, you have again two layers uh, right at the center. Well, further reduces the chance of a hot spot. Very simple, it's got Velcro. All you have to do is use the Velcro to fix it. And this is the first layer fix it. Now, one word of caution, even if you are in a hurry, which usually you are during the shoots, make sure that no light is leaking out from the edges and also handle this Velcro very carefully. Okay. Now it's become nice and even and you add the outer diffuser. Now, one word of caution, avoid uh, you know fixing the diffuser at the outer edge because if you do that the light will leak but instead fix it at the inner edge of the velcro the advantage is that this edge will act like kind of a you know hood and prevent any spilling of the light now if you want the light to be spilled of course bring it forward and fix it. So, but this is what I follow because in this way, you get that fine control on your light. Baffle, outer diffuser, let me, well, the material exactly is the same as the one which you can find with the 85T. I'm gonna fix it the way I fixed it on the other one. 
Now that you've seen how these two uh, softboxes are built and what are the functions of each component of this, let's try and put this into a small test. Well, it's not exactly a test, it's more like a demonstration. Now, a softbox is a softbox is a softbox, or it is not just a softbox because a light shaping tool is supposed to do what it is meant to do, right? Shaping the light. Now, this particular set of soft boxes, which uh, Godox has just launched, can be put it into multiple kind of usages. For example, you can use this like a beauty dish. Now, beauty dish is like a hard metal piece. Now, transporting it during all your shoots are a little difficult. Now, the beauty dish also comes with the silver inner lining, snow white and this kind of uh, matty, uh, uh, silvery kind of a finish. Carrying three beauty dishes are going to be a cumbersome job. It's actually a studio uh, lighting tool. But when you have something like this, you can actually carry both of them you know, and actually use it like a beauty dish. For example, if you want to recreate, let's say a bright, sunny kind of a lighting situation, well, you can pick the T65, 85 or 120, depending upon your uh, requirement and avoid using any of the additional modifiers like the outer diffuser, baffle and the deflector. Avoid using them. Just mount just the bare uh, uh, circular softbox and you will get a nice directed sunny source. But if you want the same feel, but not such hard a source, but still specular in nature, then you can pick the W, avoid using the diffusers, avoid using the deflector, you will get a very different feel. Now the difference will be apparent to an experienced photographer for sure. Now, you want to add a little more diffusion to a hard light. Well, introduce the deflector. You can do the same with the W, so you get a different set of light. Now you add a baffle to the T, then you see a different set of lighting. For example, if you do that, you will still have the outer, you know, ring. It will show in the eye as a catch light. It will be very nice. And if you want everything to be diffused, well, add all diffusers. Then at that point, there will not be too much of a difference between the light coming out of this and the light coming out of that. But to a trained eye, the light coming out of a W with the deflector, baffle and the diffusion will be a tad softer. So if you are shooting, let's say a lot of beauty stuff, I would recommend this. If you're shooting fashion and you want the texture of the fabric to be visible yet create a soft light, probably this is better. Like I said, if you want to create a sunny feel, well, again, this is better. The biggest advantage, according to me, of using this is that uh, the shallow depth, correct? It throws out more light in a much wider fashion. And of course, you can also make use of the grid if you want to further fine tune the light and avoid excess spill. Now, why should someone who already got a set of uh, soft boxes, hexagonal, rectangular, square and all that, why should someone buy another set of uh, soft boxes because they are new? Well, according to me, this new one carries a few advantages in comparison to the earlier ones. First thing, it is built much better. Second, it's nice and compact and it's easy to uh, get started because its assembly is very, very fast. And most importantly, is the control 
that you as a photographer will have on your light while working with these two uh, sets of light, the T and the W is way more than your earlier sets of soft boxes. I think you must pay a visit to your nearest Godox Experience Center and try it for yourself. Let me know in the comments as to what you think about these new light shaping tools. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now.